everybody, I am Butterfly, aka Toxic Butterfly, and we're going to continue with Alan Wake Part 2. Um, I don't really get this game, I'm going to be honest, not 100% not sure what I'm doing or what I'm meant to be doing, so let's just continue with this game and see what happens. Hmm. Radio shows can give you... the fuck I'm meant to be going now because that's why you wanna never fired a gun outside a shooting range, and now I just killed someone, or something. There were no bodies. They just disappeared. If I was dreaming, it felt real enough to make me sick. The dark forest was the last place I wanted to go, but I had no choice. I had to get to the gas station. It's rabbit season! Great, now we're out of fucking batteries. What the hell was that? Mate, you're asking me. I don't have a fucking clue what's going on. I'm just as confused as when you. When I saw the river below, something uncoiled itself inside my head. I realized that I'd have to find a way across. I didn't even want to look at the water. I mean... Now what? Oh, look at this shit. Stucky was still out there, in the dark, stalking me. I'm so confused. Bullshit. Nah, man, I don't get this. I just don't understand this song. Wait, game, I've got to be honest. Get up, 
man. What are you doing? Just get the fuck up. Uh -oh. oh no, this way. I don't get this. I don't understand what the fuck's going on. They're taking a filled with taken. darkness. Eerie hand painted graffiti was revealed by my flashlight. Someone had hidden a chest of supplies near it. weird Don't understand. No. The staircase was broken. I had to make my way up some other way. There was no power. There was bound to be a generator somewhere at the logging site. Um, isn't this a little bit suspicious that there's like, happens to be like, Over there, okay. Isn't it seeming a little bit suspicious how there happens all this to be ladders around, around? There had to be something I could use to reach the top. From the bottom to the top, that's some wet ass pussy. Sorry. Be some ammo around here somewhere. Like, it can't just be that. What's this? I don't know what the coffee's for. But okay. We will go with this. With all this forestry equipment around, there had to be something I could use to reach the top. I mean, you'd like to think, wouldn't you? But 
I'm not so sure anymore. script shotgun with two bullets So we got two bullets of shotgun ammo. just outside for a breath of fresh air and what a night I, I know most of you are probably in your beds by now but if you're still up and around take a moment step outside for a spell and breathe in deep mm, the weather is absolutely still the sky is crystal clear it's like the forest is quietly breathing along with you as you listeners know I'm a, I'm a night owl and it's on nights like this I wish I wasn't cooped up in the studio Makes an old man like me wish I could just roam wild. <laughs> but here I am, and it would keep you company all night long if I weren't. Uh, it looks like uh, I'm not the only one staying up late. Caller, you're on the air. Hey, Pat, it's Maurice Horton. Hello, Maurice. What are you up to? Well, I was just taking Toby on his walkies. Oh, isn't it beautiful out there? Sure, but Pat, the reason I called is that Toby heard something rustling in the undergrowth and took off after it, and I couldn't find it. Probably a rabbit. Sure. <laughs> Toby loves rabbits. Well, sure. Anyway, I figured that, you know, if anyone runs into Toby, they could grab him. My number's on his collar. And Toby's a friendly dog? <laughs> oh, Toby loves people. Usually he comes back, but when we were pretty far from home, and it sounds like he's never been to Oh, Toby, come soon. Yeah, thank you. You have a good night now. What's this? Manuscript page. F5. Departure by Alan Wake.
The Taken stood before me. It was impossible to focus on it, as if it stood in a blind spot caused by a brain tumor and eye disease. I heard them before I saw them. At first, I kept finding the. I don't understand what all this is. I don't know. Just keep going. The gas station was closer now. It's light welcoming in the darkness. Paul makes the best dogs in the state. Belly Burster is the best with no characters. Monster Dog is second best. The famous dog is. This is just bullshit. Where the fuck am I? I've already listened to that. I'm not listening to it again. The gas station was closer now. It's light welcoming in the darkness. Paul makes the best dogs in the state. I don't understand these dudes. The what are, are they? they? Monster dog is second best. The famous dog is. Understand this. Just wait, yeah.
the way I came in. Uh, so this is the way. Maybe I should have played this on easy, guys, you know? I don't know what's going on. But the price for such a legacy is steep indeed. In Night Springs. Tonight's episode, A Quantum Suicide. If our lives are already written, it would take a courageous man to change the script. Having called a press conference. <laughs> Yeah. 
Lee's body vanished, leaving behind only a lifetime of nightmares to come, assuming I'd reach the lights of the gas station alive. recognized the parade float I had seen in Bright Falls when I first arrived with Alice. After the insanity I had just experienced in the darkness, the lights of the gas station felt comforting. At least for a moment, the sane world reasserted itself. The deer fest had been two weeks away when we arrived. If the day count on the banner was right, I was missing a whole week between the night we got here and now. The garage was a mess. It looked like someone had trashed the place, or that there'd been some kind of fight. All right, I'll keep writing. Outside, there's only darkness. Outside the cabin, outside the story, there's only darkness. I can feel her presence in the dark. Just now, I could smell her perfume in the room. I'll reach her, I'll fix it up. I'll bring her back. The story will come true. If I stop, she's lost. I don't believe this. It'd been me on the TV, talking crazy. Was I losing my mind? Safe on your GFS, September 15th to the 18th. Music activities, raffles, tickets, fishing, competition, pie contest, the surprise competitions, live music, children, book, tooth, Charlie, afternoons, and Montgomery, the mystic, the amazing phantasm, jury, evenings, don't miss the legendary deer fest parade. Okay. Is that it? No surprise. No nothing. Rightfall Sheriff Station. I'm so confused. What's going on? Oh, thank God, Sheriff. Sheriff Sarah Breaker, you are... I'm Alan Wake, but listen. I was in a car crash. My wife, Alice, she's missing. Calm down, Mr. Wake. We were staying in a cabin on the island, on Cauldron Lake. There's no island on Cauldron Lake. Not since the big eruption in the 70s. Please, I can take you there, okay? You look like you've taken a pretty bad knock to the head. Are you okay? Listen. We'll figure this out. Please get in the car. We'll swing by the lake and then we'll go to the station, okay? Mr. Wake, have you seen Stucky, the guy who owns this place? I realized I couldn't tell her what had happened in the forest. She wouldn't have believed me. And then she wouldn't have helped me with Alice. I mean, I'm kind of not believing you right now. I don't have a clue what's going on. I'm so confused. Bright Falls with my wife, Alice. Thank you for coming here with me. I thought maybe you could write here. I don't want to hear it. God damn it, Alice. Now, she's missing. Alice? Ah! Alice? I woke 
Secret behind the wheel of a crashed car. I'm missing a week. I was attacked by shadowy men straight from a nightmare. The sheriff took me to the lake Alice and I had stayed at. But the cabin had disappeared. I'm so confused. Three years ago. Honey, I'm home. Back here, sweetie. How was it? Worst weather I've ever seen. You should put some coffee on. It'll warm you up. Hey, handsome. This is gonna be a long night, but these shots are turning out great. I guess you're gonna need that coffee then. I'll go put it on. Oh, guys, I'm not gonna lie. I am, like, my head is baffled. Coffee's on. Great, thanks. I'll need it if I'm gonna finish this by tomorrow. I mean, he says it's on, but I don't see it doing anything. Oh, hey, I just finished those cover mock-ups. They're on your desk. Tell me what you think. No kidding. I didn't think you'd get them done this quickly. On occasion, I can perform all sorts of miracles, my dear. Oh, really? Well, you seem to think so last night. That's rude. Well, I'm meant to be examining. Huh? Uh, where are they then? These look really good. Oh, sure, until Barry gets his hands on them. Which, by the way, will happen over my dead body. The last... It's true what they say about the fall. I don't really care about this. This, this was but, a late goodbye. To be honest. I'm missing a page there, so I'm, I'm missing two pages, actually. This time was the last time. Oh, and speaking of Barry, he called. <gasps> Alan! Alan, please check the fuse box. I'm right here. I'm on it, honey. Please hurry. I'm right here, baby. I'm fine. I'm fine. Just get the lights back on. Now, please. Honey, it's a power outage. I I've got the flashlight. Okay. Hi. You okay? I'm sorry. I just... It just really spooked me. Don't worry. We'll just break out the candles. I'm really I know confused. it's stupid, but it's just... Especially when I'm not prepared for it, you know? It gets to me. I love you. Tell me a story, Ryder. Okay. <clears throat> I used to have these nightmares when I was a kid. The dark really spooked me, too. When it got really bad, my mom gave me this old light switch. She called it the clicker. The clicker, huh? Yeah. If I ever got scared of the dark, I could just flip the switch and a magic light would scare the monsters away. Oh, sure. Here it is. Alan. Maybe it'll help you too. <laughs> yeah, nice story, writer boy. You made that up right now, didn't you? No, no. <laughs> Seriously. I love you, even if you are a liar. Thanks for this. Was the present day. Hmm. How do you feel, Mr. Wick? Any nausea, disorientation, anything like that? Mr. Wick, how are you feeling? I'm okay. My head's fine. I had to lie about my headache and memory loss. He'd send me to a hospital for tests. I couldn't leave without Alice. Hmm, very well. Um, I don't think you have a concussion, but you've obviously been through quite a shock. You should take it easy for a couple of days. Thanks. Well then, Mr. Wake, we're done here. If the pain gets any worse or you experience any other symptoms, you should come see me. I'll let you get on with it then. Sarah, uh, Sheriff Breaker is waiting for you. 
She's very good at her job. I'm sure she can locate your wife in no time. Doc Nelson was the image of a small town doctor. Sheriff Breaker had called him to the station to take a look at the cut in my head. Thank you for testing the lights, Miss Weaver. Everything seems to be fine. I don't have the luxury of being complacent, Deputy Grant. The bulbs will need changing soon. You can't change them in the dark. I'll be sure to take care of it, Miss Weaver. Have Why are we picking up coffee for Mo's all the time? I'll come back later on to remind you, just in case. Yeah, it's uh, Mulligan here. I'm at Stucky's gas station with Thornton. There's no sign of him. Over. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, this is Thornton. Look, we've located the gray float. It's here. That's some good Mr. Wake, the sheriff is waiting for you in her office down the corridor. Oh. That was Cynthia Weaver. I guess you can call her the town eccentric. She used to be the editor of the local newspaper. It's been but six she's to twenty on, um, or seven. Other things these days. There's quite a lot of missing people. Come in, Mr. Wake. Your phone's on the desk. The battery was dead. It's charged now. Have you started looking for my wife yet? My men are already on it. Now, can you tell me what happened? I'm not oh. sure. I can't remember. We were arguing. I walked out of the cabin. The cabin on Cauldron Lake? How did you end up at Stucky's gas station? I wanted to tell her what had happened last night, but I couldn't. She'd lock me up. Excuse me. I need to take this. I'm so confused. Hello? Alan, please help me. Alice? Stop talking to the law. You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see your wife again. Who is this? Go to the back lot. There's a hole in the fence on the left. Look inside the junker. I left a little something there to convince you we're all on the same page here. After you ditch the cops, you're going to meet me in Elderwood National Park. There's a spot called Lover's Peak. Midnight. Mr. Wade, can I help you with anything? We're watching you. I need to get some air. The sheriff said I could go out back. Hey, of course, Mr. Wake. Hey, you Mr. can get there through the cell hey, corridor. Hey, turn the light. The light's on. The deputies, they won't... They don't understand. They won't listen to me. I... I need it to be bright in here. Thank you, man. Thank you. Hey. You're all right. You're a good guy. Don't let anybody tell you different. You know, I shouldn't even be in here. The early morning light hurt my eyes and made my head ache. The man on the phone had said, go through the fence on the left. Well, folks, it's been another long night, and uh, it's about time for me to sign off for a while. God knows I need my beauty sleep. <laughs> uh, just one more item before I go. It's been a busy night for the sheriff's department. We had a even a report of shots fired on Main Street. <laughs> Alice's driver's license had been placed on the front seat. The caller meant business. Barry? Ow! Ow! Thank God! Where the hell have you been? I've been trying to reach you for a week, you and Alice. Oh, I've been worried sick. I flew out yesterday. I'm here, here in Bright Falls. Barry, listen to me. I'm at the sheriff's station. Come and get me. I can't talk now. Ow! What the hell is going- I had to get the sheriff to let me go. I needed to get to Elderwood National Park to meet Alice's kidnappers. Reveals the world of his story from darkness, shapes it from nothingness, the way a sculptor carves a statue from a block of granite. If I stop, the world I'm making dies. Darkness will reclaim it. It's a long, hard journey into the dark. Alice's life is at stake, but I can't think about that, or I'll lose it. The dread lingers at the edge of perception. I'll push on. Anything is possible here. I'll write the story. I'll save her. I don't get this. Marvelous, Sarah. I just wanted to settle all the damage the Anderson brothers might have 
inadvertently caused. Are you feeling any better, Mr. Wake? I'd like to leave. Am I free to go? Well, we still need to talk about... Am I under arrest? No, of course not. But I need to know where you'll be staying so I can get in touch with you. I'd avoid the motel. The Majestic is known for its roaches. The cabins at Elderwood are pretty nice, though. That sounds perfect. I'm Dr. Emil Hartman. I'd like to invite you to stay at Cauldron Lake Lodge. Did you talk to my wife? I had the pleasure of discussing your situation with her on several occasions. Did you set something up with her? I invited her here. My clinic is a place where... Oh! Hey! Oh my! Take it easy. Nobody move! Get your hands off of my client! Who are you? I'm Barry Wheeler, his agent. If you have business with Mr. Wake, you talk to me. You yokels won't know what hit you once I sick my lawyers on your asses. No harm done, Sarah. I'm all right. I don't want to press charges. Mr. Wake, my offer still stands. Get me out of here. What the hell was that about, Al? We don't need a replay of that thing with the paparazzi. I thought they were gonna lock you up. All right, guys, we're gonna leave it here for Alan Wake part two. I had to talk to someone. I'll let it get I into told Barry everything. Then, um, he thought I was certifiable, release. but when he heard about the manuscript, I had him. The fact that I'd written something, mm -hmm. even if I couldn't remember it, was enough for him. He smelled money, and he believed that Alice had been kidnapped. Anything beyond that was another story. I had a midnight appointment with the kidnapper in a place called Lover's Peak, somewhere in Elderwood National Park. The plan was to rent a cabin. I don't like it, Al. I don't like any of it. It's not good. In fact, it's the absolute opposite of good. Mr. Wake! Barry, you found him! Hi, Rose. Oh, wow. I was just thinking about you, too. Great. I was just bringing Rusty some coffee. He's on the balcony, looking after Max. Poor thing. I really need to go. Great to see you again, Mr. Wake. Later! Who's Max? What an All airhead. Right. Jeez, Mr. Takes here. a swing at everybody. Thank this you is not her guys fault. She's a very nice girl and, more Butterfly. importantly, Out. a fan.